I'll be very nervous if one of my passengers on board opens up the door and jumps out, therefore endangering my life and my passengers and endangering themselves as well and endangering my crew members. Good evening and welcome to my podcast, everyone. Today, January 10, 2024, I read this news today about a passenger who jumped out of an aircraft which was about to take off. Come to think about it, how did this kind of a passenger get on board in the first place? If you have a scare, some kind of of psychological problem about flying. You shouldn't even book a flight in the first place. Stay away from flying. You are endangering many lives on board. People who want to see their mom, their brothers and sisters, their loved ones, aunties and uncles, their parents... And you are endangering them. I'm so thankful to the Lord that nobody on board was hurt from that incident. Except that one passenger alone who got hurt and they are receiving treatment right now. We don't even know how they open up the door. This kind of a person has to be kept on the watch. I'm so glad that this airplane wasn't 16,000 feet up in the air like the Alaska airline that the door just flew open 16,000 feet above sea level. And every passenger on board was putting on an oxygen mask. I'm so thankful that all of them were calm and the airplane had an emergency landing. This is so great that nobody was harmed on board. But this kind of a passenger and what I read today, they should stay away from flying. Seriously. If you're having a scare, like you're nervous about being up in the air, Just find yourself booking a ticket with a train on land. Booking like a bus to take you to your next destination. Flying isn't your thing because when you're up in the air there, there's no way the pilot will say, okay, come out. Let me continue with the others. No, you are going to the destination you booked for. So you just have to calm yourself down and remain quiet until you get to where you're going. Instead of endangering yourself, maybe even end up dying and killing other people as well. No, 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 no. We do not want those kind of news. We don't even need that kind of a news around. We want good news always. Bad news is always traumatizing. We don't want to be traumatized. Right, people? That's what I wanted to share with you today about an airplane. And I just read about another airplane in Japan. 379 people were on board. And this airplane caught on fire. But thankfulness to his grace that everybody survived. Because the airplane had an emergency landing and everybody was evacuated very fast using three exit doors and the people were saved. Well, the bad news is their luggages were burnt and the airplane caught on fire as well. But the thing now is, I just also read that some guards got I mean, some guards lost their lives, like officers. 
around. They lost their lives due to this airplane bursting into flames. May Holy Spirit comfort those people's families. Yeah, airplanes, airplanes matter. I read about a lot of airplanes. I love flying, but nah, we should not be having this kind of passengers on board that will just bust open the door. Yep.